Hi guys, Dave from Gorilla Painting here, and now we get to check out the Space Marine Primaris, aka the Big Marines, from the Dark Imperium box set. So, these took me about an hour and a half last night to put together. Um, didn't do anything particularly fancy with them, just assembled them straightly according to the instructions. Done some of the tidying up work, there's still a little bit of mold line removal and stuff to be done. But they went together really, really easily. Um, didn't have any problems with them really, apart from some of the connection points on these guys just for their flying bases. So you want to have a super glue and uh, some super glue accelerator there ready to make your life easy for that. So, just take a look at some of these guys. Here are two of the regular bolt rifle armed guys. So you get two squads of five of those. One squad's sort of in slow advancing poses, um, and one is a bit more static, and comes with a sergeant here. So I'll just bring them up and see if we can get them to focus in. Bump the light levels up, here we go, it's a little bit easier. So there's a couple of bare heads for the sergeants, and then the rest are all helmeted up. Then we have the very, very cool looking Hellblaster squad. So there's five of these boys with their big uh, plasma rifles. I can't remember the exact term which they are, but uh, they look absolutely baller. So they're looking really cool. The Inceptors, who uh, not everybody likes um, from what I've been reading online. I'm actually quite a big fan of them. Um, these guys look like they could actually fly, and they've got sort of manoeuvre jets on their legs. Um, and boots there as well as the sort of big lift packs there so they're kind of in that sort of star jumpy pose but that's what you'd actually need in order to um, sort of give yourself directional control and stuff like that while you're flying around so they're a lot bigger than your old jump marines but they look really cool and there's the uh, sergeant from them so i still got to drill out the barrels and stuff like that but um, I just needed these done in time for release date so customers can check them out so then we have got our two Primaris Lieutenants. So these are sort of low-level independent characters, uh, but that's why they're on the big bases. So you've got one who's uh, got bolt rifle and pistol here, and no helmet on, but it's just mag clip to his belt. And then the second one here who's got a power sword and bolt pistol there. Then we have the Primaris Ancient. Ancient being the term for a standard bearer, not necessarily an indication of how old he is. Um, obviously, big marines are new as far as the background goes, but uh, the stories do say that you can uh, upgrade existing marines. So perhaps this is a really, really old space marine who's just had a bit of an upgrade um, of Grease's wheels, giving him a new hip and whatnot, and he's good to go. And then we've got the captain here in the Gramus armor, which is sort of a fancy sort of Terminator-esque armor. It's a lot more um, a lot more detail and protection stuff going on. So he's got his Bladestorm gauntlet there, which has sort of got a big ammo drum it feeds into. It's got a nice iron halo and then a nice big power sword, which you'll be able to do plenty of non-metallic metals or energy effects and stuff like that on. So because I know some of you are most wanting to see the scale difference. Here we have a Mark IV Marine from my World Eaters army. So my old Horus Heresy army. So if we take one normal big Marine and put him next to it, you can see that the new guys are quite a bit bigger than the old guys. So, Space Marine, Big Marine. Then, the comparison which a lot of people are going to want to see is Stormcast Eternal. So, put him up, because this guy's on a high base. We see he looks bigger there. We we'll bring him up to the same level. These guys are fairly close to the same scale. So it is very easy to tell what a lot of people are going to start doing, which is taking these guys and these guys, putting them together, and getting some really cool, ornate looking Primus Space Marines. That will do you for stuff like Black Templars especially. Um, you could make some kind of uh, 
lightning bolt themed chapter for instance sigma themed um, and you would uh, be able to just take bits from from either of the ranges put them together and uh, and work like that so that's something I might actually do in the future to do some uh, some more sculpting and stuff and converting so this is the Space Marines big Marines side of the box set I'll clear these off the box bring over the death guard and we'll take a look at those as well all right here are the death guard so we started with the small guys last time let's do the opposite this time and let's start with the big fella the bloat drone blight drone whatever he's called so this is a really really cool model to put together um, basically there's two halves in the background those slot in they've uh, done some good work to sort of make sure the mold line between the two isn't that well the connection point seam between the two isn't directly vertical it sort of moves around some of these parts and helps hide it so i haven't done any cleanup work here and it's not too bad then you have this sort of central hole piece which clips on in the middle again if they'd put it just two halves and had a big seam down here um, like some other companies would have done that would have uh, looked a bit crap but uh, they haven't it's a separate part which clips on and looks really good then you add these little turbines and stuff the weapons were slightly tricky to put together there's a really little arm which connects the the main body to the weapon so you need to make sure your glue is 100 percent dry on that before you try and hook them up and then it just kind of trails along on these little pipe tentacle things then we have our lord of contagion so he's in a really big corrupted set of cataphracty armor and he's got a very cool looking uh sort of reaper axe scythe thing with these little chain blades in there I'm not quite sure how practical that would be you'd have to sort of aim fairly well to get someone in there in the first place but it's fancy it's games workshop it's got scales on it it's pretty good you see there's plenty of uh chain mail detail you've got these little flaming skulls and stuff one of the things which was really cool that he's either standing on sort of curb stomping a bunch of nurglings or they're sort of forming on the ground which he's walking it's probably the latter i like to think it's the former but yeah he's your big boss man for your death guard then we've got the pox no the Oh, I can't remember his name. Pox, uh, Pox Caster, Bearer, Beacon. I don't know. The guy with the bell on him. So, again, plenty of detail here. Really intricate sort of uh, sensors and stuff. Um, a sensor with a C coming off, which would sort of be giving off the plague gas and things. And the bells and stuff to chime the, uh, the plague bells. He's got a plasma pistol. Then our plague caster. So he's sort of firing off this uh, burst of phlegm, fireball, however you want to paint it up. Um, he's got this really cool sort of swirly antler stuff and stuff here. And then he's got some uh, ribbons and stuff floating off the back. So when I first went to put them together, I thought this was going to be a really dumb design in terms of how this little ribbon connects. Um, it looked like there's only a tiny little connection point up here on the uh, cowl but there's actually a nice connection point in here as well um, where they've keyed it to sort of insert into the torso so that isn't going to snap off as easily as i thought it would so here's the last of the characters then so bumping my tripod go over to our plague marines so if you read oh sorry if you watched you haven't been reading this if you watched my unboxing video you would have heard me talk about the fact that two of these guys um had some of the same parts on them so that's these two here so their back piece and arm and backpack are the same but they've got a different torso different head and different weapon attached so while they're sort of sharing the same dna they don't look identical so you've got bolter and you've got plasma gun on the other side so that's really cool and then Got this guy here here's the one i was talking about in terms of the fact that you've sort of got two side pieces and then a central sort of spine piece of the way they're put together so you can barely see how it all fits together once it's assembled it's done a really good job of hiding the joins and mold lines and stuff like that so i haven't done any cleanup work on these guys yet and uh, they're already looking really good 
Got the uh, sergeant here with his plague knife and bolt pistol. And then he's got a burning skull sort of attached to the top of his helmet. He's got that sort of World War I German style helmet with the, uh, the spike on top, so he looks really cool. A nice big bloated fatty guy with uh, bolter and plague knife too. And then this guy's your sergeant, so he's got a power fist, plague knife, and doesn't appear to have any ranged weapons on him. Oh no, he's got a pistol here, and uh, plenty, of, plenty of detail and stuff on what's hanging on, and Nurgle flame outlines, and, sorry, fly outlines, and then he's got this big sort of fly hanging off him on the top. Then moving over to here, we've got the Poxwalkers. So, there's two lots of ten of these guys, so you've got duplicates in here. They've all got sort of improvised weapons and stuff. I won't show you all of them, but uh, you'll get the idea from the, the few which I show you. So we've got some guys with hammers, big mallets, and then we got this guy who's just kind of holding some kind of rusty pipe. They've all got these uh, slightly strange-looking um, Grimace smile rictus masks on them. Um, just a really wide sort of Joker-esque grin. Which uh, some people will like, some people will hate, but uh, that's the way it goes. So if we do our little scale test, which we did earlier, we've got Pre-Heresy World Eater, and we've got Death Guard. And we've got no focus. There we go. So, once again, the Death Guard guy is way bigger than your poor little old World Eater here. If we show him next to your Primaris Marine... They're the same size. Well, he's slightly smaller, but very similar sort of height. And not that you'd combine components from these two. Here's your Stormcast Eternal, and here's your Plague Marine here. So, we're getting the idea of where Games Workshop are heading with the scale for some of these new kits. Stuff's getting bigger, which means that um, if you look at the uh, the Age of Sigma corn kits. Um, the Age of Sigma, the Blight, I can't, can't remember the name, the, the, the big Nurgle guys and stuff like that. You're going to be able to use parts from them on these new guys when you do it. So if the rest of the Primaris Marines and Death Guard releases and stuff stay the same scale as this, we are looking at a bit of scale creep going on, um, a fair bit of it. But um, your old stuff's still going to be useful. This new stuff's just going to be bigger and cooler. So, watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this sort of first look at the new models. I will be doing some painting of these guys over the next few weeks. And I'm looking to get my first game in tomorrow, which will be Sunday the 4th of June. Um, and we're going to be playing World Eaters versus Necrons, and it'll be both mine and my opponent's first crack at the 8th edition rules. We're going to take some photos, we're going to take some videos, so we'll be back with a bit of a battle report shortly for you. But until next time guys, happy modelling, and make sure you get your pre-orders in for this box set, because it is good.